Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey I'm here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi Battle. And as I mentioned uh, for the next few videos up until Thursday, there are going to be theme teams, uh, more than likely gym leader or some sort of important character type theme team. I've actually done a bunch of them in the past if you guys want to check out the playlist down below for any of my Wi-Fi battles. But we're going to be doing a Misty theme team if you can't tell. Uh, I'll be using her rematch team I believe from Pokemon Let's Go and then I just added a Sea King to it. I wanted to add Seedra, but I couldn't find the Seedra I used for uh, Wi-Fi battles. I think I might have traded it away to uh, one of my buddies to use it. But yeah, as I also mentioned, these will be relatively short compared to a lot of them just because I'm going on like a mini vacation uh, Monday through Wednesday. I'll, I'll still be around, but it's more so, it, it's like a mini vacation type of thing. So I'm trying to stack up on a, a ton of stuff. So whatever battles we get, that's what we're going to actually play. We're going to hope that... Um, so basically that's what's going up, right? We're gonna hope to get maybe uh, a quick one and then maybe we can get a quick one after depending on timing. But uh, yeah, should still be a lot of fun. Let's see what my opponent ends up having or who am I playing actually. Um, this is the team. So the first five she actually has in the rematch if I'm not mistaken. And the last uh, is one of her teams from maybe Gym Leader Castle or something. Woof, okay, let's do it. A few threats. Uh, I do think that my Gyarados might actually be good here if I Mega Evolve it. I also think that that Venusaur is going to give me problems. Same thing with Zathos. We're going to go to the Dugong route because Dugong can like basically fake out into Ice Beam, into Ice Shard, Zapdos. I'll live a Thunderbolt and it may very well... It'll, it'll put it in range of my Starmie. Luckily, my Starmie is uh, Psychic in this one. I'm very, very, very weak to Beedrill though. But maybe my Dugong can chip away at it as well. Let's see how it ends up going. They're Rocker Sand Slash though. I'd be very happy if I can get uh, at least 4 or 5 KOs in this. Zapdos is definitely a hard matchup though. But then again, she doesn't really have much I could do. Unless I go like real Gym Leader Castle type things. And go with like Dug Trio Executor type stuff. Because Misty doesn't always run water. Which is interesting. Alright, so leads off a of Beedrill. I'm just going to fake it out and get as much chip off on it as possible. I'm pretty sure this will do around 30% maybe because I'm brave nature, so that's a plus attack. And they're probably just going to Mega Evolve in U-turn. Um, if this does a lot, I might go for Ice Shard as well just for damage because like, I'm debating going for Ice Beam after and the reason I would go for Ice Beam is because it would hit something like Zapdos harder, but they actually decide to go hard into Zapdos I think or Venusaur. They go Snorlax, which is a fair play. Um, it takes every hit that I want to go for, that did nothing. Oof, don't really have very many switches to Snorlax. I feel like Megahorn is going to do more than Ice Beam just because I'm Brave Nature. I'm going to go for Megahorn here. Uh, try and weaken the Snorlax as much as possible. It's definitely going to do more than Stab Ice Beam. Yeah, that did nothing, but... I'll show you guys Ice Beam for comparison, but just because Snorlax has better... Uh... If I show you guys Ice Beam, I actually can't kill Snorlax, so I can't show you guys Ice Beam. I have to, I have to Megahorn. But Snorlax has better special defense than it does physical defense. Look at that two for two. Hey, under half, not bad. I'll live this as well. Yep. I guess I can't afford to show you guys the uh, the ice beam. Maybe I'll freeze it though. The yeah, brick brick is like fifty points stronger than uh, earthquake when it's super effective brick brick because it's one fifty versus uh, base one hundred. So yep, yeah, I uh, got some nice damage off on that. On that uh, Snorlax. Do I want to try and go Seeking and, and Waterfall? But that means I can't switch into Gyarados. I mean, I can't switch into Beedrill regardless. Like, I was thinking about Gyarados because Gyarados allows me to switch into Beedrill after if I don't Mega Evolve. But then he goes Zapdos after and Zapdos kind of messes me up. However, Waterfall does pick up the KO here. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm not sure if they'll go for, uh, what's my end game here? I need a week in the Zapdos. I need, a, even potentially critting it is my way. What I may very well have to do is Mega Evolve versus Zapdos and go for Crunch and then go for Earthquake after hoping that he roosts so he loses his flying type and I get off a super effective Earthquake, put it in range of like Starmie or something. Yep, there's big Zapdos. 
I'm actually gonna Mega Evolve and go for the Crunch, because Crunch can get a, a defense drop versus Waterfall actually can flinch, but Zapdos should always be faster than me, so. Uh, by Mega Evolving, Hey, Misty does have a Mega Gyarados, by the way. If you watch the Sun and Moon anime, Misty does have a Mega Gyarados. This is not cheating at all. Um, by Mega Evolving, I'll live one Thunderbolt. As he ends up going for U-Turn. I'm very surprised because my team is mono weak to electric. <laughs> so I'm very surprised about that U-Turn there. Very, very surprised. Probably gonna go out to Venusaur. If I do get a defense drop on Venusaur, I might be able to beat it. Go Sandshrew. Sandslash. I don't know why I <laughs> devolved him. There's no way Sandslash takes this into a waterfall at all. Look how much that crunch did. So these Gyarados picking up a KO. I mean, I guess they didn't want because they know that Thunderbolt does not KO Gyarados from full. And they know they can also go out into they probably want to force my Mega because now at this point Mega Beedrill comes out, Mega evolves and I'm weak to it. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt of that turn. That was their thought process. Yeah. I feel like Golduck has better potential than Sea King in this. I'm just gonna sack Sea King here to an, expe uh, an expected X Scissor or a U Turn, and then bring out my Vaporeon and maybe try and freeze something with Ice Beam. Mainly trying to catch maybe Zapdos or anything. Uh, X Scissor is gonna destroy me. At the same time, though, I don't deal with this. Uh, I don't really deal with Beedra at all. I do go for U Turn though. I'm Lonely Nature minus Defense. This might just knock me out. No. Okay, good. Gotta give Sea King a little bit more credit than that. So they have Zapdos and Beedrill left, which is pretty much all they need to beat me down. <laughs> like, it's, this is gonna be tough. I don't know if I see myself getting out of this. But Starmie can still freeze. I can go for Ice Beam here. You'd be faster than me though in Thunderbolt. Yep. However... Okay, if I go out into Vaporeon, then I'm gonna lose the Beedrill guaranteed. Is Gyarados out of range of Thunderbolt? Because that, that makes a huge difference. If my Gyarados is out of range, I go Gyarados and I crunch. Um, and if... The other play is to go... Well, I mean, if, if Gyarados gets... If Gyarados dies, I'll probably have to go Starmie anyway and try and freeze my opponent. I can't go Vaporeon, because I need Vaporeon and Golduck healthy enough to take one hit from Beedrill so they can revenge it. This is tough. Do I want to go for the freeze now, or is it better to go for the freeze after? <laughs> So, I know that the Thunderbolt roll is around the percentage I'm at. Hmm. Actually, it's not. Okay, cool. I live Thunderbolt. Unless my opponent is like modest Zapdos. I live Thunderbolt. I'll live on like 2 HP maybe, but I'll live it. I might live it on 10. So best case scenario for me, they ah uh, they know I don't, they know I live Thunderbolt. No, smart opponent, smart opponent for sure. Very smart. I can respect that. Very very smart. Ah, I need you to give me openings. What are these on the side of Gyarados? That is so much. I'm gonna go for another one. I don't, I don't have a reason not to like I mean he's gonna outspeed me most likely unless he's not a plus speed nature yeah so we're able to 2 KO the uh, the Venusaur but you still have Zapdos you still have uh, a Cloyster you still have a Beedrill I'm just gonna hope that the, the Zapdos is not plus speed nature now even if it not um, it still outspeeds me I just go for Crunchy he's gonna go for U-turn and pick up his KO goes for X-Scissor which is still fair uh, so my play now is to go Golduck, I believe, and go for the, uh, my play is to go Golduck and I believe go for the Scald Burn. Yep, because I want Vaporeon healthy, because Vaporeon will guarantee at least take one hit. If I do get a Scald Burn on Beedrill, I may be able to win with the combination of Vaporeon plus Starmie. Let's see, though. But if I'm my opponent, I just U-turn out and sack Cloyster. I didn't do that much. Hold up. If I get a Skull Burn on Zapdos plus Crit, I'll put it in range of Ice Beam. But they should go closer. I'm surprised they go Zapdos because like you want this thing healthy as well for my waters. But if you're that confident in uh, 
Ooh, I get the burn. Okay, that's good. That's good. If you're that confident. I just hide your pump. Yeah, because uh, if he roosts, he'll lose a uh, flying type anyway, so Ice Beam wouldn't be super effective. And Hydro Pump means I get off the most damage possible. Alright, Starmie. I bel am I Ice Beam on this one? Because I'm going to need a crit right now. <laughs> I am Ice Beam. I'm going to need a crit. My friend. <laughs> this is Misty's Pokemon. So had I Hydro Pumped, the reason I scalded is because if they stayed in- wait, why are they switching? They're going Cloyster? That's smart. Aw, oh, that, that guarantees a win, huh? I couldn't even freeze it or anything, that's smart. If I go Vaporeon, I take too much damage. They just go Zapdos and Revenge kill me, that's smart, that's smart. They're trying to guarantee their win. I like my opponent they're playing. Like, they're not giving, cutting me any slack or, like, giving me any leg room, despite what type of team I'm using. They're just, they're just really doing this. Very smart. Alright, well, it's just gonna come down to Vaporeon versus the world. You're gonna outspeed me and knock me out. God, my gosh. Look at that X right through Starry. Starry never stood a chance. No. Alright, Vaporeon. It's time to super crit everything. Super crits should exist, honestly. For just for situations like this, like adrenaline. Like, obviously like a regular critical hit still has its 4% chance. But like, uh, a super crit would be like when, like you're the... the the protagonist and and you're suffering and and you're you're about to lose to be honest adrenaline should activate in general and i should be able to outspeed this beedrill right now so in order to beat this thing i need to hydro pump crit and even then i doubt i take yeah there's no way i take thunderbolt at 90 and on top of that i need a hydro pump crit here hey porion Ah, uh, no crit. So Beedra is going to be able to finish me off here. Just click Ice Beam, why not? My opponent might misclick Drill Run and then misclick something with Zapdos. Yeah, good game to my opponent, well played. Uh, they didn't give me any opening at all. I mean, I didn't really have any very many openings versus a Mega Beedra plus a Zapdos. But they made sure that I had zero openings the entire time. I would actually love to play this opponent when I, had, like, when I have a, a well-rounded team. I think that would be a very good game. Maybe that's just me that's thinking that, but like, I could, I could tell by the way my opponent played. They uh, they knew, like they knew not to throw away Zapdos versus Gyarados. Uh, they knew, I'm gonna get one more. I think we have enough time, is it 13 minutes? Yeah, I have a little bit of time. Um, they knew not to throw away uh, their, their Zapdos versus Gyarados because I was out of range of it. Like this is somebody who who, who knew what they were doing. So that was, that was very, I enjoyed that game a lot. I enjoyed that beat down a lot. Alright, so this will be the final game no matter what. Let's see if we can get a W with Misty's team. Gonna be very hard. Hopefully no Electro types. No no Beedros either. <laughs> Alright, we got a Beedro, but no Electro type. That's fine. Oh, I'm definitely going the Dugong route again. My opponent has a Lapras, which is gonna be a problem. Um, only like one member of my team hits Lapras for super effective damage. The rest, Lapras kind of just shrugs off. I'm probably going to have to use whatever I have in front of me when Lapras comes out to weaken it or attempt to weaken it immediately. I do think Gyarados is very good in this game, though. Like, non-Mega. And Starmie offensively is also really good. The fastest Pokemon outside of Beedrill. Leads off a of Charizard. Hmm. Are you gonna become Charizard Y or Charizard X? Either way, we fake out. This is free chip. Some chip damage. Uh, I'll be real. Zard Y would be a little bit easier than Zard X. Okay, good. 
Because Zardak's doing some damage to me, I would not like it all. I don't see Golduck doing much this game. I'm gonna go Golduck here. Actually, if I'm being real, I don't see Sea King. Can Sea King win? No, but Golduck there's less because Golduck doesn't have a real way of hitting Lapras, whereas Sea King at least has Mega Horde. Alright, we're gonna go Golduck now. And we're just gonna throw off a Scald. I'm not gonna even get a Hydro Pump because if he goes Lapras, I'd rather potentially burn it than get off 2% more. Real talk. Okay, that's assuming I even live in Air Slash. Was that a crit? I just got nuked. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we scald here. As they go for another fire blast. Is that a roll? I did less than half last time. Alright, good. Good boy. There we go. We take those. I'll throw up a Hydro Pump now if my opponent wants to roost. Okay. So I go down there. Um, that's fine. I needed the damage on the Charizard anyway. Starmie is my best option. I can knock you out here. Uh, Thunderbolt, I believe, is my best play because not only does it knock out Charizard, but it hits Lapras as well. Potentially paralyzing uh, something coming in too. Or punishing something as well. Because they Mega Evolve this, I just realized they cannot Mega Evolve their Beedrill, which is very, very good, especially when I'm running a Psychic Starmie. And like the fact that Mega Beedrill would have been a lot more of a threat. So I think that my opponent should have thought a little bit more about that. But you know what? It's fine. We take what we get. We take those. I wonder which one I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm, I'm recording them all back to back, so. Hey, Molly. Maybe it's like Bulk of Facade. So it actually sets up on a Scald variant, but nope, I am psychic, my friend. Hey, did not KO though, but that's okay. This is going to do a lot. Like, I know I resist, but look how much that did. It's insane how strong High Jump Kick is. I really wish uh, Hitmonchan got it too. Or at least Drain Punch in this game. Hitmonchan's best fighting option in this game is Brick Break, which really, really sucks, man. Because I think Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee are two of the coolest fighting types. Okay, honestly, Gen 1 had some amazing fighting types, though. Machamp looks so cool. Well, Machamp looks like it's on steroids, but it still looks cool. You got Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. You got Primate. Gen 1 fighters look amazing. Yeah, they're, they're actually, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Like, aesthetically pleasing, anyway. Uh, Snorlax can come out, Lapras can come out. I gotta be careful, uh, because I do not want to lose to either of those. I appreciate Starmie, though, coming out and taking a little bit of uh, a charge right here. There's Big Beedro. However, you cannot Mega Evolve it. So I will get off a Psychic, which will either A, KO you, or B, put you in range of Fake Out from Dugong. Yep, put you in range of fake out. That's fine. Wait, does regular poison jab knock me out? Uh oh. Ooh, my opponent should have U turned there. That would have OCO me. That's fine though. I'm gonna get off one last psychic before I, I like. I know they have Eevee in the back. I know they have uh, Lapras and they have Snorlax. Uh, so psychic is still my best play, unresisted. And I managed to get my revenge on the Beedrill that messed me up last time. It was not the same Beedrill. This was his cousin though. It's fine though. We take it out in the family. We keep it in the family. Sounds so wrong. Hey. I appreciate you, Starmie. Thank you for getting rid of three Pokemon. Okay, Lala. How do I not lose to everything? I think I like Vaporeon. Especially if my opponent's going to send out their Eevee now. I feel like they're going to send out their Eevee. I feel like some introduction for Eevee about to come out. Oh, it was Lapras. So, this is good because I can weaken you with Shadow Ball, potentially getting Spadef drops. And also try and go for Skull Burn, even though you resisted, obviously, but... Oh, Blizzard. I was running that the other day, on, uh, in doubles. Even if they freeze me, I do have Scald, which, uh, thaws the ice. I want to keep Gyarados in the back. I'm keeping Gyarados, Dugong, and, um, Seeking in the back because... Because of the fact that, uh, that Eevee is a problem. Maybe I should actually keep Vaporeon too, thinking about it. Yeah, let me, let me go, let me go Seeking, because Seeking isn't going to do much, but at least it can Mega Horn this Lapras, because uh, at least Vaporeon, because I'm, I'm a little bit worried about, 
the, the sizzly slide from Eevee, because it can burn me and I'll lose. So keeping a special attacker alive actually makes a lot of sense versus Eevee. Seeking has great spadef. Mega Ward. I don't have any facade users on this team too, so if I get burned, that's it. My attack stat is gone. Oh, that's the first Mega Horn miss of the day. I'm assuming my opponent does not have Thunder, uh, Thunderbolt or anything like that. I feel like Misty should have a Lapras too. I think she does as well in like one of the, one of the like the side games. Oh, you yeah, actually have Ice Beam. Also, Blizzard should almost 100% thaw. I mean, thaw. Freeze. Uh, okay, maybe not 100%, but Blizzard should definitely be able to freeze you. Like, more than what it already can. Like, maybe like a 30% or a 50% chance. Because, like, if you're stuck out there in a Blizzard, it's not safe. Unless you're, like, a Furfro. Because Furfro has the ability Fur Coat, so... It is safe. Oh, this is good. I want to weaken Snorlax, too. Give me some nice damage. Maybe a little flinch too. There you go. That did nothing. Musty King got pancaked, man. <laughs> Alright. I'm I'm not gonna go uh I'm not gonna go Gyarados Neff next. I want to make sure that the Snorlax is in range of my Gyarados before I go out to it because I don't want to take any unnecessary damage because that Eevee is still threatening. That Eevee is still threatening. It's just lurking in the back too. Keep going with your Mega Horns. Dugong's Horn is not that Mega. Like mean, look how it's small. It looks like a tooth. Alright, so I actually got the damage I need on this thing for Gyarados, but I think that my Dugong might actually be able to 1v1 it anyway. Give me that. I want to say that's in range of Ice Shard after Fake Out. Oh, never mind. I got crit. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, we just bring out a Gyarados now. So, Vaporeon Skull does knock out this Pokemon, but we can bring out a Gyarados. Mega Evolve. Click Crunch. Knock you out. And just start clicking Crunch versus EV2. By Mega Evolving, I'm also not uh, four times weak to Buzzy Buzz, so it's really hard to remember EV's moves. I still gotta do an EV. I still gotta show off EV as well. That's something I have not done yet. Give me that. Alright, and one more. Give me that EV. I would like to end it on 1 1. I like to be even at the end of this. Uh, okay, so I think that uh, if the EV set, like let's say it's a, like a legitimate EV set, right? So if it's like Sizzly Slide and it's faster than Gyarados, which it should be. Um, well, if you're running Speedy EV. Uh, Sizzly Slide and it's like Sappy Seed plus Protect. It could beat Gyarados 1v1 potentially. I don't know what the uh, the odds are of that though. But under a mile faster, we're good. There's so much. Buzzy Buzz paralyzing me. However, I will not be burnt because I am paralyzed and Eevee's best thing it could do is like Sappy Seed. Like unless it gets like, unless it actually has Protect and gets a bunch of Sappy Seeds too, I'm good. Alright, this goes for another Buzzy Buzz. Well, there's also the chance they could paralyze me to death. Hold up. Alright, never mind. Gyarados said, nah, we're gonna win this game today. Alright, so we're gonna end it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, we managed to go 1-1. I really hope I get that first guy again when I'm using like a real team. Because that would be a very enjoyable battle. I, I enjoyed it like when I was clearly losing the entire time. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.